The months after your baby is born can be magical, but also <laughs> really painful, y'all. Real mom, real tired blogger, Erica Brennis is here to share some postpartum wisdom with us. Good morning, twinsy. I know, I love it. I saw you and I was like, yes to the hey burnt girl. orange jumpsuit. I love a jumpsuit. Yeah, so obviously having a baby hurts, right? For mm. like some pretty obvious reasons. I'd assume, yes. But then postpartum, there's like all these body aches and pains that you're like, I had no idea I was gonna have to deal with that. So. Ugh. Let's talk about yeah. what I did to kind of, you know, alleviate the pain uh -huh. and just ways to just help with that. Okay, um, and this is pre-pregnancy so, and during pregnancy, right? So let's back it up okay. to when back I was bus. pregnant <laughs> and my doctor was like, listen, just like go for walks and stretch. And I was like, okay, cool. So like, I go I'm home, I, I was this. also like pregnant in the summer <laughs> and I go back home, I sit on the couch and I eat Bluebell. So do not do what I did. I'm still paying it for it two years later almost. I've got some knee pain, hip pain. So oh, wow. definitely just and you don't have to like move with intense exercises. So just orange walking. theory is not necessarily what you're saying. Just do some stretching. Yeah, and you know, a lot of um, pregnant women can't. I mean, they're not mm -hmm. allowed to do that based on their doctor's recommendation. So yeah. um, orange theory is great postpartum, <laughs> like maybe even a year Go later. But it. you know, when you're pregnant, just keep it super simple and stretch because okay. your hips get really tight mm -hmm. and it can really lead to some knee pain, back pain, that kind of thing. So just stretch it out while you're eating your bluebell on exactly. the couch. No Still judgment. Still eat the bluebell, but just sit down yeah. and stretch a little, Got which it. is what I didn't do. Okay, Perfect. so then you have the baby and you're like just staring in awe. <laughs> you're course. looking down. You love your baby. And oh my God, your posture is terrible. Yes. And that's, you know, part of breastfeeding. You're leaning over. You're holding the baby. So that is really what the boppy is for. Okay. So yeah, this you know, looks super comfy by the well, way. And we I might need it. one with. I mean, uh, out a baby. <laughs> yeah, I'm not breastfeeding anymore, but this is a great pillow that Baker loves to lay on. So this takes a lot so of just, the pressure off. of Yeah, so you're propping up the baby, so sh you know the baby's more along the chest line. Okay. Yeah. So Excellent. so then you can kind of focus more on your posture. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. So this is a good one, but I want to join the cool kids club, <laughs> really. Let's do with it. With you and John Dopkovich and, yeah, and, and, and Mandy is and over there Mandy like shopping one. online right now for one. So this so is a Mia Millie this. hip seat. And I know I talked about it in my last segment for game day prep, mm -hmm. but I'm telling you this carrier had a huge impact on my pain. So I'm right-handed. So I would just naturally carry Baker on my left hand, my left hip. Uh -huh. So I had, I experienced elbow pain that I didn't know was possible, like didn't even know in my existed. elbow. Yeah, and so I wear this, like this is an everyday, I know, you I'm got like, it. did I get it? So I don't know. I, Training. You, you can here. do it just with, your, with one hand, but yeah, so you get it real tight around your waist, you buckle yourself in, you get it real tight. And about how much weight does this handle? I mean, do you want to pop on up here? <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty sturdy, yeah. I'll have to say. This goes yeah. up with my puppy right so now. So I just wear this around the house. You know, like if she wants to be held, I just throw the weight, the, the hip seat on. Perfect. And wear it around the house. That's so, great. So it's going to take all that pain off mm -hmm. of your back and your arms carrying baby Carrying around. the baby. And this Ooh. actually is like can come undone. So you don't even have to have this whole shoulder oh, straps on it. Yeah. So it unzips and you can come undone. A whole new version of a fanny pack. Now, come <laughs> on over this There actually way. is a compartment <laughs> underneath there. <laughs> this is great. Very yeah. stylish. Um, this is genius. You got to tell us about this Yeah. Guy. So I met the founders of this company unbuckle me it's this little device it just pops on and off of the car seat uh -huh. and mom and daughter started this company so I was like oh I love this oh, bought this one of these cool. they're only 15 bucks I love uh, also you can get this at Nordstrom by the way so okay. that's a new thing Very so un easy. unbuckle me it just slides right over the car seat buckle and you barely have to just because the Pop struggle it. is real yeah. with doing that. Okay. And I think this is a great gift also for like grandparents who might be watching your baby. Absolutely. Because it's, I mean, if you have like arthritis or, you know, pain in your hands, the whole process of um, unbuckling just, the baby is annoying. So all of the things are very yeah. hard. So anything we can do to make it a little bit yeah. simpler are great. Erica, thank you so yeah. much. Best tips, best tricks, and I'm loving this. I love being able Second to help. That's what my blog is all about. <laughs> I did have, I have a whole blog post on all the things. Pain. So realmomrealtired.com. Love it. Thank yeah. you so much, girl. All right. For more baby and mom product reviews, have, head over to realmomrealtired.com and follow Erica on Facebook at Erica Brennis ATX and on Instagram at Erica Brennis. Yeah.